Why would anyone build a factory on a floodplain? That's what many residents near the Humber River are asking themselves. Community members in the Jane and St. Clair area are holding a campaign after finding out that this piece of land, which they were hoping to be used as a public green space, has been conditionally sold to a meat packing company. I think this neighborhood has experienced a lot of environmental discrimination in the past, um, and it just feels like that's just happening again. It's not the development plans Dean O'Leary was hoping for or even saw coming. The property near 200 Rockcliffe Court is conditionally sold to St. Helens Meat Packers Limited. Residents have been against the potential sale since they caught wind of the news last year. The community is advocating for public green space. This could be part of a network of green spaces that serve you know, not only a recreational purpose, this is the least of our worries. It serves an ecological purpose. It serves a purpose of, of retaining wildlife, of cleaning the water. The property, which used to be a landfill and sewage treatment plant, is known for flooding, most recently in 2013. It's also next to a waterway that leads to the Humber River. Residents are concerned about water pollution and traffic for nearby schools, especially the one right across the street. Locals say they wish they were consulted first. Uh, they say it's a community consultation, but it's definitely more of just an information session where they presented us with slides of what it's going to be. So it's pretty much already set in stone? It seems like it's already set in stone. If you notice, the sign actually already has sold signs on it. We reached out to the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority and Ward 11 Councillor Francis Nunziata. We're still waiting to hear back. We did, however, hear back from St. Helens Meat Packers, the company set to buy the land. In an email statement, they tell City News, the proposed facility is focused on meeting the specific freezing and cold storage requirements of certain export markets while creating an estimate 100 local employment opportunities for the community. The notice of sale for Rockcliffe has been posted in the community for approximately two years. There have been extensive efforts by multiple organizations to address all the unique challenges associated with the land prior to the sale. The company also says they're working on flood mitigation measures and that they've also recently heard about community concerns and that they're open to working with residents to address them. Well, there's two futures. There's a future where this land becomes symptomatic of the environmental injustice that this area has been subject to for decades. And there's another future, a bright future, an optimistic one, where this land could seriously become one of the most beautiful places in Toronto. The city and the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority will vote on the fate of this piece of land on March 23rd. Now, this story was brought to us by a City News viewer. If you have a story or news in the making, here are just some of the ways you can contact us. This is Persona City News.